Hi guys, although the battery life on the GoPro Hero 10 11 is certainly better than the previous models, especially with the bigger battery and the new Enduro battery, there's always room for some improvement, but there are a number of settings and things that you can do to prolong and extend the battery life so you don't need to charge as often. So let's find out what they are in today's video. First of all, let's go through the settings, all of which can save a little bit of battery juice. If you swipe down from the top of the screen to access the settings, you should see this little face icon in the top left. So that's the voice control. So the first thing to do is switch that guy off. I find the voice control on the GoPro pretty unreliable anyway, but it's certainly better to use maybe a GoPro remote for triggering the GoPro from distance rather than shouting at it like an idiot at the camera. All right, let's continue by working through the remainder of the settings. Next, um, I want to switch off the beep. And it only takes a little bit of a power to make that rather annoying and stupid beep, but it's still power nonetheless, so why not save that bit of power? So switch that beep off. So next along is the little hair icon, and that is the GoPro Quick Capture. And what that does is it just allows you to uh, make a recording very quickly by just hitting the record button, and the camera's gonna switch on and go straight into record mode. But of course, that takes some power. So uh, we wanna save some power, so switch that guy off. Next, we have some front screen options. So if you're doing some blogging, you might want to leave these options on so that you can admire yourself in the front screen. But if you don't do vlogging, then I suggest you switch off the front screen to save some juice. You can alternatively use, for example, a GoPro display mod as it has its own power supply. We now need to swipe it to the right to access the preferences. Now, if you have no intention of using the wireless connections, like for example, the Quick App that's available on the mobile phone, the remote control, or even the Volta Grip, which I don't actually have with me at the moment, then switching off the wireless connection is going to save quite a lot of battery power. And you can always switch it back on when you need it. Next, now go on to the general settings. This is where we can reduce the time when the camera will automatically switch off when it's idle. So we want to set this as low as we can, perhaps one minute or even five minutes. All right, let's now continue. So next we have the option for the LEDs. Now, the LEDs don't actually consume very much battery power, but you know, if you don't need them, then why not save that little bit extra power? Let's now come out of general, and the very next big save for the battery power is the GPS settings. So if you disable GPS, then your files themselves aren't gonna have any GPS settings recorded in them. But if you don't really care about that, then that is quite a lot of a battery saving there. Let's now go into the display settings. And we can reduce the time before the screen at the back goes blank to save power. If we change it to maybe one minute for the most aggressive battery saving time, um, then that's gonna save even more power. Next, let's look at the screen saver for the front of the GoPro. So I would suggest that we set this to match the rear screen so it ensures that the front screen goes off just as quickly as the rear screen. All right, what's next? Well, we can actually reduce the brightness of the screen itself. Now the default is 50%, so a screen of the GoPro, of course, uses quite a lot of juice to power it. So if we can reduce that right down to as low as you are comfortable with, but you might, for example, in sunlight, you might want to raise it up just a little bit. All right, let's now go back out of the menus until you see the first settings screen again. Okay, so if you made it through the video to this point, well done, because we are now at the most battery saving settings. Click on the video mode and we have three choices. We have highest quality, extended battery, and longest battery. Okay, so the highest quality setting on the GoPro unlocks the very best resolution and the frame rates that are available. But do you actually really need them? If you're uploading your videos to YouTube, for example, then the videos are going to be heavily compressed anyway. And most people are gonna be viewing the videos on mobile phones and very small screens. So, so recording your videos in a million pixel resolution and six million frames per second is gonna be wasted on about 99% of people, I reckon. But even if you set it to the next level down, you're still gonna get access to the 5.3K resolution at 25 frames per second, and also 4K resolution up to 50 frames, so more than enough for most people. So if you're happy with HD quality footage, then you can go for the longest battery setting. It's gonna make quite a big difference to your battery life. 
Okay, so lastly, on the subject of resolutions and frame rates, when choosing a profile, select the one which has the lowest resolution and frame rate that is acceptable for you. Because the higher the resolution and the frame rate that you record in, the more battery power that's being consumed. So you can edit the profile by clicking on the edit icon, or you can press and hold the profile button down itself. And that's then going to take you to the edit mode. You can then swipe down until you see the bit rate. So you can set the bit rate to something like normal rather than high, and then choosing a lower frame rate like 25 frames per second. That's gonna make quite a big difference. Okay, so if you change these settings that I've suggested in this video, you're gonna certainly notice an improvement and you're gonna squeeze a little bit more life out of your GoPro battery. Okay, so here's a summary of the settings for Easy Reckon. In the meantime, let me know if there's anything else you want to know in the comments or if you find it useful, give it a thumbs up, of course, and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. All right, take care and I shall see you soon on another video.